So basically, there was a charge against uh, against Josh. Now that charge was not fully; it was not completed. the The investigation was inconclusive, so there was not enough evidence for it. And that does not mean that he was or was not guilty. It just means that there wasn't enough evidence for them to uh, have a for, for them to have a judgment on this. If that makes sense. The fact is, so there's no evidence. Th the investigation was not finished. Why was the investigation not finished? I don't know. But here's where I think Method was undeniably wrong. I think Method was undeniably wrong whenever they allowed Preach to come to the event and bring his children to the event whenever they knew full well that there was an investigation that was done on one of their members. I think that was an undeniable, uh, that was an undemi undeniable breach in trust. Uh, another undeniable mistake was that they did not do an investigation on this guy to begin with. Gone on. There's obviously been a, quite a large series of allegations levied against uh, some members of Method, including their management yep. and things like that. So we do want to let you guys know that we will no longer be Thanks, working Frank. with Method in any capacity. There it is. Uh, I was asked there to join is. Method officially as part of their team uh, a little while ago, and we turned it down not because of this or anything like that, uh, but because we wanted to remain independent, we wanted to have our free choices to do so. Autonomy. We very much enjoyed working with Method. They provided some wonderful things, but there's mm -hmm. just no way we can go forward with that. Uh, I want to be really clear on something, that this isn't a case of saving my own skin or anything along those lines. The reason we have decided that we can no longer work with Method is, and I think the casting team uh, that I've worked with multiple times now across the Las Vegas event, across the multiple World First events, will know that I was always not shy about bringing up issues either for myself or on behalf of the entire casting team with the method management. I felt very comfortable doing that. They always responded well. We dealt with some quite serious problems in Las Vegas before the show even started okay. uh, that we managed to get addressed very, very quickly. That's good at least. But in terms of certainly method Josh, I asked about method Josh repeatedly, directly. Because as a father of two kids and someone who also runs an event where our utmost priority is to make sure people are having fun and are extremely safe. And I think we have done that every single time. It's crucially important to me as somebody who wakes up every single day and all, want, all I want to do is hopefully put a smile on a few of your faces. That's it. Wow. So he actually asked about the guy and they played it down. Jeez. You know, at a certain point, whenever something quacks like a duck, acts like a duck, it looks like a duck, it keeps quacking like a duck, maybe it's a duck. And I feel like a lot of people forget about this. Is that everybody is thinking... The same thing. Isn't that odd? I want you to come to here and have fun, feel cool, feel relaxed. And I asked specifically about Method Josh shortly after he was banned. Mm -hmm. What's the story? And I was told that it was not a big deal. It had been dealt with. All right. It's not an issue. I also brought it up again. Which was true because it was uh, n not a big deal was not true, but um, that it had been dealt with is, is true because the police had dealt with it. It comes to the fact that he was banned and that we would definitely have to address the fact that he was on our screens. And as a caster, it is unavoidable for me to pretend that somebody in a 20 man raid doesn't exist. Yeah. So I would ask again, how are we dealing with this? What's the story with it? I was told it was fine. We could bring him up. Not a big thing. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. I mean, don't make a big fuss about him being there. We're not trying to rub it in people's faces. Blah, 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 blah. But overall, that there was nothing really, really a big problem there. I have met Josh twice in my life. The first time before any of these allegations in London. And I would describe that encounter as odd. He's an odd guy. I would also say, because you might say, well, haven't you been naive, Preach? Haven't you been ignorant? Have you tried to turn a blind eye for the sake of money? Well, let's address the second one first of all. No. I I, uh, I met Josh too. And 
there was nothing like he was just like a normal he was exactly what i would expect uh a guy that sits in his room all day and plays video games to be like like i didn't spend an extended amount of time with him but like you not quite we always always as a business made a massive loss doing the world first event i did it because i loved it mm -hmm. i did it because i enjoy it i did it for the pure fun of it and there's been no secret that i didn't do it for method i wanted everybody yeah. there and i think limit max would back that up a version would back that up pieces would back that up that i've worked hard when i've met those guys to try and get them all in one room and i'll be honest with you guys when i go to conventions even my own conventions i meet a lot of people who would probably be characterized as a bit odd it's yeah. not that weird that's the thing it's like you have weird fucks all the time at conventions people come up to me and they say weird stuff and they do all this other kind of weird this, this these weird things and dick. what touch your dick yeah like the people grab my ass touch my dick hug me in weird ways like they want me to fucking sign their tits like it's all kinds of weird stuff like that that people do no all these things have happened to me at conventions now you know for me right twit longer about it why it doesn't bother me like I i'm a guy I i'm fine uh like if people do that to me like I, I grew up like i've slept in the same bed with five other dudes before like there's something that i've like it's got to be really, really bad for something to make me uncomfortable. Like, 100%. Really, really bad. Just because you're fine doesn't mean that it's okay, though. Uh, No, it wasn't okay, but, like, I, I think it depends on, like, who it is. You know what I mean? But, no, obviously it's not okay to do that to somebody. And, and like, also, like, I do that kind of shit to my friends and, like, fuck with them. Like, grab them or, like, whatever. But that's also in the context of us being friends and like not somebody that i just met so when people say oh you surely you could tell when you met him he's a strange guy really strange that's not that unusual in my line of work no it's not and that's why it didn't register as a giant red flag like it should have i can't help that now but as much as it pains us we will not be doing anything with method going forward I won't be casting for them or doing anything along those lines. It sucks, but I I can't I have to believe that somebody in that team did know something, especially now we know police reports were probably yep. filed, things like that. And decided that they would put me and the other casters in a position where we were talking about him and try even trying to make light as we are doing as a commentary team to try and make it entertaining for you guys, knowing that was going on. And so let me ask you guys a question do you think method was morally obligated to tell preach and the other casters who weren't familiar with the uk investigation about him about the investigation do you think they were morally obligated to that i think that's a really difficult question i don't know probably against privacy laws well that's why i said morally i, I did not say legally it's an investigation not a conviction yeah but like just based off of based off of like their relationship and like making sure that people understand what's happening i think i might have to say that they probably should have told them but i have to really think about that but that's kind of the that's my knee-jerk reaction is that they should have told them uh, i'm not not 100 percent. i, I don't want to be like fucking quoted on that but that's my my knee-jerk reaction that's that's that that's all i really have to say about it yeah uh that's that's my situation that is the way we feel about it here and i hope that uh i hope it understands i feel really really horrible reading all this that's coming out and we work hard not to dismiss those things or anything like that we try to create a place where the internet is full of this stuff and if you want to talk about it and be angry about it and show your support and do all those things then you can do that and we try and create a place here where you can forget about it if you want to i think everybody deserves a place to forget about the horrors of the world be it political 
be it scandal, be whatever it is, to have a small place where you know you can be free of that stuff. Obviously, there's also allegations against Sasha. Yep. As well. And at this point, we'd seemingly have no choice because we can't, I can't support anything like that because it's disgusting and it makes me feel sick. And I know uh, when my wife has been on top of this, as his job, and she's felt very physically ill about a lot of the stuff that's going on, seeing as she has, you know, been around these people as well. So we, uh, we wanted to be clear on the reasoning why. It's not a PR thing. It's not a s save our skin thing. It's purely a case that we, I personally, as a human being, cannot be associated that way. And I tend to believe Preach and what he's saying because of his personal involvement with asking Method to uh, look into Josh. And that's why I believe him is because he probably feels to some degree betrayed by them that they withheld information and put him in this position. And because of that, I think that it's more personal to him and not necessarily just a business decision. If I'm, uh, I want to also be clear that I have a lot of friends in Method that I love dearly. They're yeah. very, very cool people. We talk outside of stream and stuff like that. I don't know who knew what, and that's the problem. I don't know. Yeah. And none of us know who knew what, what was happening, all this kind of stuff. And that level of uncertainty that we're not being looked after and that other people aren't being looked after, we can't work with that. So I hope that clears it up. If you have any questions, I'm willing to answer them for the most part, but I certainly don't want to take up most of the stream with that. <clears throat> uh, I want to also be clear, yes, I do not... Management definitely knew, like, listen, my value judgment on it, I will withhold. I'm not going to say what my value judgment is on this until it's, like, completely all dead and buried. Because uh, it, it's not, like, I don't want to put out my opinion and then have people take my opinion as a fact. But I, I do have, uh, I, I, I do have a pretty strong uh, opinion on this. Work for Method. I'm not under the Method brand or anything like that. Uh, we were completely independent, so it's not a case of I'm leaving Method. We just won't be work with them going forward. Uh, I also feel I don't know I can't speak to anything that's happening internally with the guild which is obviously my focus is the WoW guild I don't know I simply don't know and I wouldn't be in any position to comment on whether what, whatever they're feeling or whether they knew or anything like that are you looking to do other world first plans uh, I hope so I'm not even thinking about the world first race right now <laughs> In any circumstance at all. I uh, wonder why. Put a vile take. The problem that I have with events like this yeah. is that it uh, 100% makes me think that the best plan for me and my family and for the people who work for me is to just withdraw? Is to not do anything with everyone. And that's what yeah. happens. That's the mindset this kind of thing puts you in is we receive offers all the time. Yeah, yeah, they just, they don't even want to fucking be involved with it at all because it's just, there's so much drama and bullshit involved. It, it really sucks because, like, I kind of worry about that too. Like, for me, like, I don't ever worry about having, uh, like, a bad interaction with somebody at a convention, right? Like, let's say I hook up with a girl at a convention. Like, I, I'd never really expect something like this to happen to me. Uh, but... You know, I think in everybody in the back of their mind, I think everybody's kind of thinking about it, you know, like just a little bit. You know what I mean? Time. Emma deals with them all the time. And your mindset defaults back to, I shouldn't work with anybody. Yeah. Because you don't know what's happening there. You don't. That's the mindset Ninja has with like uh, dealing and playing with females on his stream. Uh, that that's That's basically, that's where that mindset comes from don't know you simply don't know and it's it creates a risk that shouldn't exist in the world it shouldn't exist at all it shouldn't exist but it does exist and it is there and so as it stands right now i mean we are as you guys know we've certainly been following us for a mm -hmm. while uh, for this year we plan to do absolutely nothing with anybody uh to bolster our twitch community and our youtube community which has paid off massively as we've seen recently and that was because we turned down so many offers to do things. We never do this for money, ever. I mean, it's, it's not hard to look at me over the last few years and see that there's no life of luxury we do here. We don't do it yeah. for money. I do it because I love doing this. 
and it's a case of you know what the best solution is is to sit in my fucking hole and do my job and leave it there yep. at the same time I can't deny doing the world first event taking my son to Las Vegas for his fourth birthday was an incredibly wonderful experience and it's 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 a dangerous road we walk every single day <sighs> and it would be very sad if you decide to stop doing them entirely I it, nobody's sadder than me and I think that's always something that needs to be put out there is I think like this is there's one thing to keep in context here is that these kinds of things and people that are like to the degree that Josh is this stuff is not like as common as you might think that it is like this is an extreme circumstance and as bad as it might be it's important also to keep it in context with the idea that many people most people are not like this and if you go out into the into the world and you're interacting with people you're probably never going to see somebody like this and unfortunately that's not the case for everyone but for many people it is and I think that honestly, I, I don't know. I'll see how today goes before I make like a judgment on like what I think is going to happen with method. But it does seem really, really bad. You guys might be sad to not see me do commentary. I'm, I'm even sadder to uh, certainly this morning. We we just, we kind of decided to do this yesterday morning. I would mm -hmm. say. No, oh, she's listening to the stream. Um yesterday morning but the fact of the matter is all these allegations and the back and forth was snowballing so much over the last couple of days it literally felt to us here that every few hours the narrative was changing and switching and i'm sure many of you have felt yeah. that exhaustion with what's been happening over the last week that's how i felt is that you see i can't wake up right now without more things i can't wake up right now without reading of some girl who got raped i can't wake up right now without somebody putting out there that something disgusting happened to them and then it's with people that i work with or have worked with right and it's we're having to read this every day and I, unfortunately i'm in no position to say well i don't want to read yeah. that or i don't i want to tear myself away from it i can't do that because it's part of what i do every single day so every day like this morning i literally woke up and sat in bed and read a rape story and I don't want any part of that. I was up at 2 o'clock this morning. Emma was up at 2 a.m. Yeah, she didn't sleep. She was going Jesus. through it all. So that is the situation. Uh, we have emailed Method. We've let them know. God damn. There you go. Um, uh, apparently, reports were sent to the police, but without proof, they couldn't do anything. Which... Uh, I mean, that's awful in and of itself, of course. Well, we know that. Yeah, that's a greater issue as well. Yeah. I don't know, Dozzler. That's my point. So, Dozzler is asking for those of you who can't see the chat. Uh, didn't they keep him after knowing all this stuff about Josh? In my heart of hearts, and this is why we had to come to this decision today, somebody knew something. That's my gut feeling. And that might not be the case. That might not even be the case. Even if it was just an allegation, even if it was just the fact that somebody had that. commented that. I don't think that the allegation is really what it is. Like, I, I, would need, I, I would need more proof than just the allegation. But at this point, there's already been enough proof. And I think that the allegation and the formal investigation that the police did, and then them hiding the information about, uh, what do you call it? Uh, about Josh to people that they were working with, especially people who were interacting with Josh in real life. And Preach said he brought his kid to Las Vegas, which means that obviously, you know, his kid was in proximity of this person who could potentially be a predator. I mean, that's like you, you see, like how things compound very, very quickly. Yeah, and it, it's not just like so. I feel like Preach personally feels like he was he was being betrayed here. And their withholding of that information was, uh, was I think, a betrayal. It's, it's just, I have to believe, I have to believe that somebody knew something. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah. That's it. Uh, 
So I would, I mean, I would like so as not have this dominate the chat for the most of the day. I'm sure this is going to be bringing up. We, would, we were having great fun. I also do not feel like streaming, as you can probably imagine. Um, I wonder why. I'm happy to kind of run the course on this if you want to. Uh, so it's done for so we can get on with our day and do what I really, really enjoy, uh, which is having fun with you guys. <clears throat> but I, I want to make sure this is all cleared up now. You defended Josh last year. A lot of people did. I don't wouldn't feel bad, Val. Of course he didn't, like because he didn't know. Like yeah, because he he had, he didn't he didn't know. Like what what do you mean? Like what were you expecting to just like immediately fucking like crucify the guy? Of course he defended him. Like that that's so stupid. I, I don't understand that at all. Yeah, of course. Particularly. Yeah, he actually lacked for, information. I mean, I can't. I I don't want to throw shade at people uh, who'd use twitch personas or anything along those lines to do that i don't want to do that but God, a cult of personality especially with popular people is very hard to get over yeah gaming does bring us together gaming does bring us together for the most part for the vast majority of things and this is why That's very it's very really important as and i mean i'm being preachy but you know look at the fucking name I mean, preacher, but we read about all these horrible things all the time, yet we don't read about the 8 billion nice things that happen every single day. It's and the smiles and joy that. we have every single that. day. We don't read about that. Because no one cares. Because that happens all the time. The actual niceness of everything is so normal, it's uninteresting and boring. I've already had dealings with three people outside of my family this morning that were great. They were fine. So don't, don't buy into that the world is poisonous and stuff because it's not there are bad people there are always going to be bad people they're always going to be assholes yep. always that's true always going to be assholes it doesn't matter your gender your race it doesn't matter your religious thing i was raised that there are assholes everywhere that's how i was raised it doesn't matter about anything else some people are assholes some worse than others and it's a sliding scale and that's it and that's what you need to figure out You never hear about the good things. You never hear about the good things. Uh, sometimes you do, but it's definitely true that you don't hear about it enough. Uh, but it's just not as interesting. That's why if you hear about a good thing, people don't really take it as seriously. They don't really... It's like, remember whenever Blizzard, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the fucking, the DBM guy, uh, had like that big post about like on his Patreon, and then Blizzard sent him a bunch of stuff. Oh, you did too! Yeah, uh, um, like that was a that was a really good fucking time, and there were tons of things that happened uh, that have been positive, and I think it is important to remember that there are a lot of positive things that that do happen, a hundred percent. Yeah, the good things get yeah they just get overshadowed. Like I think that's just human nature. Uh, I believe our community is awesome. I believe our community is awesome. I mean, the worst thing I would ever wake up to is somebody saying something at PreachCon happened to them. That's, Jesus, that's the worst dude. thing that could happen, like, under my watch, so to speak. Yeah, I feel like that's another thing, is since he does conventions and he does events, it's probably more personal to him, too. And, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, like, uh, of anybody to know that, like, it, that this is, like, genuine, I, I think Preach would probably be the main person that I would trust to be genuine. Uh, we can confirm that we will not be working with Method in the future. We are sick to hear of the allegations made and that we shall be using our platform to create fun and safe environment for our communities. What happened is not okay. After learning of the recent allegations, I've decided to leave the Method organization. My full support goes out to all of the victims involved. I mean, there it is. You know, I mean, there, there it is. There's nothing else really to say beyond that. I and the PoE Method team will be, will be removing all Method branding from our Twitch and Twitter accounts and are currently deciding what permanent steps to take. And so it begins. And so it begins. Shh, I think her name's Pooper Noodle. Released. And uh, it was pretty graphic, right? And she summed it up for me. 
and I took all the things in the account, the um, all things into account. And what I did yesterday was I did ask them to be released from my method deal. And uh, they got back to me today and um, they said that they wanted to uh, release another statement and uh, that uh, and after 24 hours uh, I should I should give them 24 hours or something so I was like fine because apparently maybe there's something else that we don't know and they want to get out there so maybe um, but I did ask to be released and um, we'll see how it goes from there. So that's weird that. Well, sh- I guess making too much money to give a fuck about something finally actually works out in his favor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we, they already made that. The first comment of the fucking thread is that joke. Okay, really? like, listen, you're not breaking any any ground here with that one. Okay. It's insane to me that Method Josh is not exiled from the WoW community or in jail given how widely it was known and reported on him ever since I worked at Blizzard. You know who that guy is? A guy. Who is he? He's He was the senior encounter designer at Blizzard. Wait, really? Yes, no shit. Holy shit, I had no idea. Multiple former Blizzard employees have told me Method's newest statement is a lie and that members within Method have been aware of Josh's behavior for quite a while. Uh, it has been circulating it has been circulating on social media that Method and specifically the Guild were internally aware of the extent of Josh's behavior. This is categorically untrue and sickening to read. That's from Method. Oh, That's right. Their, okay, so I understand. Their... Yeah. So, and, and like, there's actually been two people who have come forward and said this. Uh, I've been partnered with Method for some time, and we've been in negotiations for a contract renewal for the last few months. All things considered, I've come to the decision to decline the offer and move on from Method and explore my options as a free agent. Uh, thank you for all your kind words, support over these past days. I am leaving the Method. Oh, there it is boys wow wow damn holy shit dude we appreciate everyone's patience while we try to process the allegations we're working on a full statement that will go out tonight. We'd like to ask for your patience a little longer. I have made the decision to part ways with Method. While this would normally be an incredibly difficult decision, after the last few days is the only choice I have. My support and prayers go out to the victims. Wow. Let's see what this guy says. Do you say anything? Ooh. After recent events, I've decided to take down any Method branding from Twitch and Twitter until further notice. This is not something I know I, I knew anything about or support in any way. My condolences go out to all the victims. I'll take some days off to find out what to do next. Fuck, man. That's another one. That is another one, man. Kenya. Following Zizri and others, I have taken down my Twitter and Twitch Method branding. I am still shocked and stressed, and I want to calm down before making a permanent decision. Wow. Wow. Kenya, man, you're telling me that you raided with these people and you never heard a word about this man? You need to let these people know what you thought? Listen. A lot of these guys... Every time that any sort of a... As I said, like a serial killer, a rapist, or like any other terrible person is exposed for being what they are, there are always hundreds of friends, not hundreds, many times not hundreds, uh, but there are friends and family members that always said that he was a bit weird, but we didn't think that it was what it, what it was. And I think that all of the people in Method are probably feeling very betrayed right now. They took Josh at his word that, uh, you know, he was accused and he was lied about. These people are not 
they're not bad people because they played with Josh. Okay? Like, they're not. They, they took him at his word. They believed what was at that time their friend. And it turned out that they were wrong. But that doesn't mean that they knew it all along. I don't know what the extent of them knowing it is. I have no idea. But what I do know is that I, I don't like the attacks on all of the Method members because they were defending Josh under the assumption that he was innocent because they thought that he was innocent because the police said that he was innocent. You know? I, I, I mean, like, is this really a terrible thing? No. And even yesterday, whenever they were defending Josh and people were getting mad about him, uh, or, or like before that, I mean, the in, until the, I think that defending Josh after the after those girls came out, defending him after that period of time, that's when you're wrong. Okay, if you want like you want like my honest opinion about this, I think he should be. I think he should be in jail. Like he, Josh should be in. He should be in jail. Like, and I think that the 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 police that were unable to figure it out, somebody needs to talk to them and, like, fucking reassign them to a different job that's easier. Because they obviously can't handle the important jobs. Okay, why is Method exactly guilty of this whole uh, this whole thing? They can't control the private lives of everyone? Like, I, I, I can't imagine, like, any, any person who owns a business who would think it would be a prudent idea to allow somebody like that to continue being on your team whenever they have that much baggage. It seems like a huge mistake. It's like not finishing an investigation is a big fucking difference in saying somebody is innocent. And yes, in a court of law, he should be treated the same. But this isn't a court of law. It's a company. And public opinion does matter. And at a certain point, putting people at risk does matter. And that's why they should have done an investigation. And it wasn't just that. It was the other shit that they had received privately about him. It was the fact that he pulled the knife on the girl on stream. It was the fact that they were getting questions about this guy from dozens of different people that were unrelated to each other. It was the fact that constantly he had this persona on stream of being basically an incel. It was not just one thing. It was a preponderance of evidence that amounted to making a decision. If it was just the one thing, I could understand it, but it was not just the one thing. It was too many yeah. things. There's a certain point where there is so much evidence and so much information about it and so many coincidences that it's fucking obvious. That's all I'm saying.